what is causing your pain? I was able to talk to four people in a span of a few days and let me describe them to you. The first one, a young woman who came to me crying and asking for prayer. She told me, Brother Bo, I am heartbroken. My boyfriend of three years decided to break off with me. We had an intense fight and he decided it's over. And now I am in pain. The second person is a mother who told me, Brother Bo, my youngest son went off to college and the college was out of the country. Brother Bo, I feel so sad because my husband and I are now empty nesters all of a sudden. Number three, a man came up to me and said, Brother Bo, I am filled with anguish. His company downsized and now he lost his job, for a job that he held for 13 long years. And now he has to apply for a new job, go through all the adjustments. And then number four is a woman who told me, Brother Bo, please pray for me. I'm, I'm going to tell you something so silly, but this is what I'm really feeling. I looked at the mirror this morning and once upon a time I had this smooth skin on my face, but now there are wrinkles. Brother Bo, am I losing my youth? I am so afraid. My dear friends, all of these four people were in pain different kinds of pain, different sources of pain, and different degrees of pain. But let me share this with you. That bottom line, the cause of their pain, is one thing. Attachment. Attachment to things that were considered blessings, but it was time to let go. It was so difficult and it caused pain. I reflected on this when I read the Gospel for the day where Jesus talked about tenants who forgot that they were just tenants and they forgot that there was a landowner. And because of that, they fought him and they killed him. My dear friend, we are now here before the presence of God to remind ourselves that everything that we have, all our blessings are but gifts and that they are lent to us meaning to say we are not owners. God is the owner and we will all let go and return all our blessings to Him one day. May I invite you to pray with me today and to ask God for help so that we will recognize Him as the true owner of everything that we have and so that we can have that grace to have God as our only attachment. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Jesus, we declare to you today, all that we have, we are surrendering to you. And we say thank you for every gift, every blessing, every grace. And Lord God, we declare that you alone will be our only attachment. Because we know one day we will let go of all that you have given to us. And so here we are. We love you with all our heart, our soul, our mind, and our strength. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Do you feel stuck in your financial life? And do you want financial freedom? Do you want financial growth? Do you want to go to the next level? My friend, there is a way. Come and join TRC or Truly Rich Club. For almost 20 years, we've been able to help thousands of people grow in their finances. It's your turn. Visit trulyrichclub.com and change your financial life today.